So I like to start my mornings with celery juice. I thought I'd show you how I make them. It's pretty basic to be honest. It's just celery through the juicer, but if you haven't got a juicer, you can blend it through a Nutribullet. The reason why I've started drinking celery juice of a morning on an empty stomach is because it's really great for your liver. It's supposed to help with a flat stomach. Um, any skin conditions or skin problems it's really good for which fortunately I don't have any yet but I know that it's good for you but if you head over to the medical mediums Instagram he tells you everything about it a lot more than me I make celery juice every morning for me and my dad because he suffers with psoriasis it's meant to be a great cure for it and people's results have been amazing you should be having around 12 ounces which is about 350 milliliters um, which can be, it depends how big your bunch is, but it can be a whole celery or a whole celery and a half of another one. Um, you just need to chop the stalk off and give it a little clean on the ends and juice it through. Okay, so this is about 300 millilitres, so I just need a little bit extra. I'm going to do three stalks and see if it makes it up. Okay, so it's made around 400 now, so it's a little bit over, which is fine. Um, more the better. So I'll drink this every morning on an empty stomach, but if you are not drinking it straight away and storing it overnight, which sometimes I do, you need to keep it in a secure container so that no oxygen can get to it with a lid on like this. And I tend to drink it for a straw just because I think it helps with the taste. Okay, it's definitely not my favorite taste, but I've always been a person who needs to wake up and straight away have a cup of tea. So now I have to have this, but I literally will hold my nose and down it. And then you have to wait 20 minutes till you can have anything else. And then I'll have my cup of tea. I then go to the gym. Once I'm back, I will have my green juice, which will contain some more celery, which is around four to five stalks, a whole cucumber, some chunks of ginger, some turmeric, and a lemon. Okay, so obviously I'm not a nutritionist, but I know the basics. The, I love ginger and I use it in a lot of things, even some of my dinners. But I know that it burns fat, helps to fight flus, especially at this time of year, because it's so cold at the moment. Turmeric, I don't know a lot about, but I know my sister loves it and has told me about it, so I just whack it in as well. When I'm juicing the turmeric and ginger, I always make sure there's something before them because I feel that if you juice these on their own, you lose a lot of the juice. For some reason, I don't know why, but that's how I've always found it. So I always put the lemon in first without the juicer on and mix up the ginger and the turmeric. Okay, so that's my juice done. It probably needs a little stir, but I get a lot of questions asking how many of these I have a day. So I'll have my celery juice of a morning. After my workout, I'll have one of these. Okay, so lunchtime. I like to have like an avocado on toast with some ham, some eggs. Um, I try to have my carb of a lunchtime rather than of dinner because I feel like it digests better if you have it before dinner time. So my carb, I'll have some kind of bread, but I keep it to like rye bread. Okay, so I don't know if these are a little bit hard. So they're not as easy to smash when they're hard. Oh, that failed. <laughs> okay, so because the avocado was a little bit too hard to smash, I've chopped it as small as I can into like little cubes. And then I'll mix the tomato in with it. So that's in, and I'll add, squeeze half a lemon, oh, half a lemon, or a quarter, just for some taste. So mix that around with the lemon. Okay, then I'll season it with some salt and pepper. And then I'll mix that around. Just like that. Might want to 
have one more ingredient. And I will season with some chilli and garlic. Give it another little mix. And put that aside. Peel the eggs. I think there's probably a better tip for this. I think I've made it harder than... A little bit more pepper. A bit of chilli. And that's done. Okay, so for dinner, as I said, I try to not have carbs for my dinner. Just, it's how I like to have my diet. It's people's own preference, it doesn't matter. Um, I, If I wanted a carb, I'd have something like a sweet potato or some whole grain rice. So I like to have white fish, as I feel it's a lot healthier, digests a little bit better. Um, and I make a nice big salad and some corn. Okay, to start with my salad, I use a bowl like roughly this size, if it's only for one. So that's just some mixed leaves with some shredded beetroot. I like to cut everything quite small. And then I add some red cabbage. Some olives. And I'm going to chop some beetroot up. I always leave the beetroot to last because it's the messiest and stains everything. Squeeze some lemon to add a little bit of flavour. Um, some pepper. And then give it a little mix. Okay, so I'm using an, an olive oil which is infused with pomegranate and berries. Normally I would use um, a small spoonful of coconut oil, but we haven't got any left in the house, so I'm just dealing with this. Okay, so I place the sea bass in the pan. Move it around so the oil like spreads around each part of the fish and nothing burns or sticks to the pan. And then I will flip the fish and again make sure that there's some oil on it just so that nothing sticks to the pan. Okay, so I put this in the grill um, as I just I don't really like my corn boiled, I like it quite crispy. And I put it in there for about four to five minutes whilst the Fish is cooking. Season everything as you know. So, the pepper, the chilli, and garlic. So you've got your fish, corn on the cob, and I'm gonna pop some salad on the plate. And it's done. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I always get messages about my diet and what I eat, so I thought I'd do a little video for you. Um, leave some comments below of what you'd like to see next, and I'll see you next time.